Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, this is Ernie with learningconstruction.com and uh, welcome to another tutorial about construction. On this video, I would like to talk about how to determine the slope on a roof. Okay, so first things first. The slope is the grade of fall that a roof will be built to to keep out the rain, the snow, and other elements from getting in the house. Now, as you know, in construction, we're always going to refer to slope on two numbers, which is the rise and the run. Rise is the vertical, run will be the horizontal measure, and the run will always be based on 12 inches. So if you have a roof, you'll know that the slope on that roof will be 3 and 12, 4 and 12, 5 and 12. Uh, let's get started. The slope equals to the rise, which is the distance from the attic joist to the ridge, and divided by the run. And the run is half of the distance between the front and back of the walls of the house. Okay, so for example, let's say this building is 36 feet between the front and the back walls. And the run, obviously, is going to be 18 feet, which is the middle. Uh, the ridge is going to be 12 feet above the joist, so the rise is 12 feet. So the slope will equal 12 feet divided by 18 feet, which will reduce to 8 in 12 inches, and your slope, therefore, will be 8 in 12. <laughs> and that's it. If you guys have any comments or questions, please comment on the box below. Uh, and don't forget to check out our website, learningconstruction.com. Thank you.